For all the talk about better treatment of airline passengers, critics say the U.S. still lags behind other countries when it comes to flight delays and or cancellations. The airlines in their contract of carriage promise to get you from point A to point B, but that's all they promise. What they don't promise, according to Charles Leoka of the nonprofit passenger rights group Travelers United, is when you'll arrive. But he and others say that could change if only the U.S. had airline rules like Europe. So that if your flight from Europe to the United States is delayed by four hours, you get 600 euros, which is about $650. Reverse that delayed flight, though, and he says you get nothing. And even with recent improvements in compensation from U.S. airlines. The thing about air passenger rights and flight compensation is it's bigger in Europe. Scott Ginsburg is with Air Help, which, like Flight Right and Get Service, is a flight compensation company that, for a fee, helps passengers file claims against an airline. Full disclosure here, my wife and I learned a lot about this aspect of passenger rights earlier this summer when our international flight from Europe got canceled. When we finally got home, we filed a claim with the airline through Air Help and were, in fact, compensated for our inconvenience. But only after being told about all this by friends in Europe, which Leoka and Ginsburg both say should be the responsibility of airlines everywhere. I dream that one day the U.S. will have air passenger rights as generous and as human as the European counterparts do. Federal regulators have a website dedicated to passenger complaints that doesn't cost anything. Chris Clackham, NBC News.